morning. This is Pastor Lynn with Goodland United Methodist Church. Change is good, or so the saying goes. Number 36 of our 101 things you should do before going to heaven. Dye your hair. Been there, done that, only once in my lifetime, and it was really scary. My daughter wanted to try a new color when she was in high school, so she tried it out on mom's head instead. And what should have turned out to be a strawberry blonde ended up um, orange for about a week. Change can also be downright scary, especially when you feel comfortable with the status quo. Before you get to heaven, risk shaking things up a bit here on earth. Change your concept and everyone else's of who you are. Go ahead, dye your hair. Now remember... In order to dye your hair, you have to have some first. You don't have to go permanent or purple. And if your knees start to quake at the very thought, try a colored rinse that fades after a few washings. Feel free to experiment. After all, this isn't a tattoo that stays forever. Hair keeps on growing. Dyeing your hair is like changing your clothes. You just end up wearing the same outfit for a while. Changing your hair color can challenge you to grab hold of the fact that you are not your appearance. You are not your hair color, your height, your skin tone, or the size of your clothes. You, the real you, is the one who lives inside all the trappings of your form and fashion. The more dependent your self-image is on your appearance and on how others perceive you, the harder it will be for you to make a radical color change. Unless, of course, you're follically challenged or bald or have been dyeing your hair for so long you can hardly remember what your real color is. If you already dye your hair, consider going all natural for a few months and if you're bald well then there's always that tattoo on the top of your head it could be said that even God welcomes a change in your hair color after all God designed your hair to turn gray as you age and not one of those gray hairs makes you any less beautiful in his eyes that's because God sees you from the inside out God cares about whether your heart is right, not whether your hair has just the right color, body, and shine. So take time this weekend. Shake up your body image a bit. It just may be that you'll catch a glimpse of yourself through God's eyes. Go ahead, do it. Dye your hair. This is Pastor Lynn. Have a great weekend.